Hi everyone and welcome to this video. So this video is going to be about this little module here and this is a tiny RTC I2C module. So tiny RTC that is a real time clock I squared C that is the communication protocol used to uh, communicate with it and it's of course a module and um, in layman's terms what is this? It's basically a clock, um, a digital clock, which you connect to your microcontroller uh, in order to, in order for the controller to be able to tell the time, and uh, that can be useful for different projects and, of course, timing-based projects. Um, anyway, let's go into this a bit more. I'm not going to go into extreme depth. I'm going to show you how to use it uh, more than anything else. But let's take a quick look on here. We've got a crystal. Uh, we've got two ICs, which I won't go into, and we've got two bands, if you like, of uh, header pins. Um, now, these ones here on the right side, I won't be using them, and quite frankly, I, I don't know what they're for. We will be using these ones here, and I do know what they're for, luckily. But let's just have a quick look at the other side. So we've got a battery clip, and it looks like a space for a transistor. I'm not exactly sure why the transistor is there though. But um, the first thing we'll need to do, if you've not done it already, is to put the cell in. So now the cell's in, um, we need to connect this thing up, so I'll just zoom out. Okay, now you can see here that the, um, the labelling is DS, we won't be using that, SCL, which is serial clock, SDA, which is serial data, VCC, which is your plus voltage, and ground, which is of course ground. Okay, so let's get started wiring it up. This is just something I prepared earlier. It's a breadboard with a nano and plugged into the PC. You don't have to use a nano. You can use any Arduino really, a Pro Mini, a Uno, whatever. You can use any. Anyway, let's start. So as you can see, I've got um, the header pins soldered onto this in a very peculiar way but nevertheless they're soldered in so we're going to use these five pins here so what I'm going to do is tip it upside down and just push it into the board like that next this is very simple I've got four of these little jumper wires and I want ground to Arduino ground I want VCC to five volts I want serial data if that will go in to A4 A4 I want serial clock serial clock to A5 okay so um, that's the wiring done um, so just in case you didn't quite get that there's a, a little guide for you there so SCL to A5 SDA to A4, VCC to 5 volts, and ground to ground. Now it's time to go over to my PC. Right, so let's get started. The first thing you'll need to do is go to Sketch, and then Include Library, and then click on Manage Libraries. Um, so this sometimes takes a few seconds to load up. Um, what I notice is that this grey box here doesn't actually come active for a few seconds. But there you go. When it does become active, click in it, and type in RTC Lib. So RTC lib, real time clock library. And then choose this one here by Adafruit and then click install. I've already installed it, but there you go. So close when you've done it and then restart Arduino. And then when you've done that, go to file and then go to examples. And then down here, find RTC lib. And then if you've got the same model as me, which is DS1307, then click there. And then this code will, um, will appear. So we need to make a few changes uh, first. We can delete that because we don't need that. Uh, we can delete if ESP because it's not ESP. We'll change serial to 115200. Um, right, what else do we need to do? We can... Um, right, well that's fine. We can delete this. We can delete that too. Um, oh delete that but um, just copy that because we're probably going to need that in a minute or cut actually and get rid of that um, 
we should probably get rid of that too, but change that one to print learn. We'll get rid of that and we'll change the delay to one second. So um we're ready. So let's um flash this thing over. So control and U and uh hopefully this will work. I'll just make sure mine's plugged in. Okay, here we go. It's starting to compile um, and it's starting to upload. And it's done. So I'll press Control, Shift, and M to get the serial console up or the serial monitor, whatever you want to call it. And you can see here that it has, it's worked, you know. So 2017, 11.29. It's Wednesday. Um, the time is 21, 28, uh, Now, um, what this script has actually done, it set the clock. By default, it's not set. So what's happening here in setup is it sets it, of course. And the way it sets it is that this line here, says if the RTC is not running then set it but it, more specifically it says set the time of the RTC to whatever the time is which the IDE gets from the operating system at compile time and that's a bit of an issue because um, compile time is not necessarily or well it, not necessarily it isn't um, it isn't the time when this thing is going to be uploaded because it compiles a few seconds before it gets uploaded so therefore the time is not going to be spot on so let's bring it back up again and if I get this clock up as well you should see that there's, there'll be a few seconds difference um, yeah look at that there's quite a lot of difference actually so the RTC is saying 56, 57, 58, 59, 60 so that's a lot of you know quite behind that's 26 seconds um, behind so what I'm going to do is the line that we copied before paste this in here right um, what we're going to do I'm going to do RTC adjust get rid of that RTC adjust just press control and T there to format the, um, the code so RTC adjust now Unix time and we want to um, what do we want to do? We want to add an amount of seconds. So I think I said it was about 26 seconds or something like that. Um, let's just double check. So it's 45. Um, let's wait until it gets to 50. 27. So it's about 27 seconds behind. So what do I need to do now? Right, If it's not running, well it is running. So I need to take that out of there and I need to put it down here. Control and T, and then Control and U. So what it's saying now is get whatever time it is um, on on here and add 27 to it. What's this now? Oh, now is not defined. Okay, uh, that's an easy fix. Just paste that over there. Control T, Control U. Yeah. So very simple. Get the time which it thinks it is and add 27 seconds to it. Um, this does give us another issue, a very minor issue, which I'll explain now. Let's just check the time is correct now. We should be somewhere near. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 8, that's good enough for me. right? Now, the other issue is that this is a sketch which has been flashed to the Arduino. And what's going to happen now every time you reset the Arduino? Well, every time you reset the Arduino, it runs the setup uh, portion, of course. And the setup portion says, get the date and time which you think it is, and then um, adjust the time by adding 27 seconds to it. Now, if we were to add another 27 seconds, the thing would be uh, too fast. So now we need to get rid of that. We need to comment that out again. What's going on here? Will this thing let me? There we go. And then we need to very simply re-upload. 
So what this means now is that the RTC is sat, and every time this thing re-uploads, it will work fine without changing the clock. So let's just verify that it's right. So it's in 16, 17, 18, 19, 21. Oh, what's happened there? Oh, well. Uh, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Right, so we're good. Um, I think what that is, is when the Arduino starts up, I don't think it, it works perfectly well. It's a, it gets a bit funny for a couple of seconds, but then it sort of sorts itself out. Anyway, um, that's how to wire up RTCs. Um, that's how to code it. That's where you get the library from, and that's how to adjust it properly. So, thank you for watching this video. If you liked, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.